Hello everyone, and welcome to this brief recorded session on customizing your icon bar. Now I don't have the home page up uh, by design. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just wanted to see, uh, so it really bring out the icon bar. But if we right click up in the icon bar, and this would be for when you have employees using QuickBooks and they have particular uh, permission levels of access, whether you're in Premiere or even Pro. I know you have about nine levels of access for your users, or in ES where you have about 115 different levels and role access. You can customize a bar so they only see the actual workflows or processes that they would be doing every day in QuickBooks. All right? So you can just right click on the bar, choose Customize Icon Bar. Now first off I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of them right now. So we can start off fresh and I go ahead and click OK leave the home there, customize the bar again, and I click the Add button. We'll notice that I go ahead and add everything I want to that would pertain to my job. So definitely I would like the chart of accounts, and you can choose uh, a particular icon for that. We can either have the language and the icon or just the icon alone. And you click that, click another one, Add. I'm going to want to do a client data review for sure. I'm going to be cleaning up files, Add, Company Snapshot, also one of my favorites. And you can just continue to go down the list, whether you need a customer center or enter bills and so on. And this is how you customize the icon bar um, for when you open QuickBooks, when you log in. It'll have everything to click on and hopefully streamline your process or workflow within QuickBooks. Uh, on top of this, another topic, kind of side tangent here, but it, it goes um, with the same area. The home page, you can go ahead and take some of the workflow processor icons off of the home page just by going to the edit menu preferences desktop view company preferences and then as you uncheck these or turn these off the icons will actually fall off of the home page so if you don't really deal with sales receipts or statements or let's look at estimates go ahead and turn that off Click no there, that's turning off the estimates. When we look at the home page, you'll notice that estimates are gone. Okay, as well as the other ones that I unchecked, like statement charges and sales receipts. I hope you find that helpful, and it hopefully it streamlines your workflow when you're working in QuickBooks. Have a great day.